In the last lesson, we learned about sharps and flats as basically being instructions to proceed up or down by a half step from a starting natural lettered key. Now, what about going up and down by whole steps? That's also a possibility. So remember that whole steps are just two half steps in a row. So for example, if I want to proceed from this C and land here, that is two half steps up. Remember that that's a single whole step, and if one half step up is called a sharp, it would follow that two half steps up would be called a double sharp. So this key in relation to a starting natural, C, may be called C double sharp. What about this key? Well, there are a number of ways we can get there. For example, I could go F double sharp, right? Because I'm starting on F and proceeding up a whole step. I can also call this G natural which doesn't imply any movement. I'm just there. The natural is a kind of stasis. I haven't moved anywhere. A double sharp or a sharp implies movement. I start somewhere and I go up either a half step or a whole step, sharp or double sharp. But similarly, we can also find this key by going down from A, a whole step, right? Two half steps. Well, what do you imagine moving down by two half steps or one whole step is called. Well, if moving down one half step is called a flat, moving down two half steps or one whole step is called a double flat. So this key is called a double flat. Now that actually brings up a very interesting property that you're beginning to see emerge from this exercise. That is that we have different names for the same physical key. So once again, this could be called G natural, meaning I'm here on the white key. It can be called F double sharp. It can be called A double flat. This property of one key having multiple names, two or three, is called N harmony, E-N-H-A-R-M-O-N-Y, N harmony. So we could say that F double sharp G natural and A double flat share an enharmonic relationship. That's if you want the adjective. Now, if you want the adverb, these three labels, F double sharp, G natural, A double flat, are related enharmonically. So let's practice enharmony for a moment. Let's find a key, for example, this black key. And can you come up with at least one name for this key right there. Well, in terms of F, this is a half step above F, so this is F sharp. In terms of G, it's a half step below, so this is G flat. Are there any other names for this key? Absolutely. For example, you can see that this is a whole step above E. So, E sharp, E double sharp, E double sharp. So three names for the same physical location. What about this key? What can we call this one? This is a half step above A, so it's A sharp. It's a half step below B, so this is B flat. And is this a whole step below a natural key? Because remember, your reference points always have to be natural keys. Well, right there is C, right? Specifically, this is C5, just to orient your, yourself along the keyboard. Okay, so this is C5. So this is C flat, C double flat. So this, this black key can be called A sharp, B flat, C double flat. Three enharmonically related labels. Now, do you think that every key within the octave, right, for example, from C4 through C5, do you think all of these white and black keys have multiple names, multiple enharmonic labels? Absolutely. The question is, how many? Now, I'm going to posit 
that all of them have at least three with one exception. Can you think about this for a moment and tell me which one key, white or black, has at most two enharmonic labels or what are called spellings? Two enharmonic spellings and not three like all the rest. So let's explore for a second and think about what that question really entails. So if I start here on C, I can call this C natural. I can call it B sharp. I can call this D double flat. Now we already talked about this black key. For example, this could be C sharp. It could be D flat or B double sharp. Same thing with this, D natural, C double sharp, or E double flat. And we can proceed up through the entire octave, and most of the time you will find three labels for every single key, but there is one exception. So what do you think the question is really asking? Why would there be an exception where one key only has two labels instead of three? Once we get beyond two labels, that is a sharp or a flat, and we start talking about double sharps or double flats, remember that what this means is that the key we're looking at is going to be a whole step above or below a natural, right? A white key. Are there any keys here that are not a whole step above or below a natural? So if you look carefully, this is the one. This middle black key in the group of three is a whole step below this black key, which is not a natural, because remember, the naturals refer to the white keys. This black key is above, or a whole step above, this black key, also not a natural. So this is the one exception. What do we call this black key? Either a G sharp or an A flat. So you can prove this for yourself by going methodically through all of the keys within the octave, right? All 12 of them. Seven white keys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and obviously five black keys, one, two, three, four, five. And you'll see that of the 12 individual pitches inside the octave, only one of them is limited to two enharmonic labels. The other ones get three.